Dr. Susan is to help people discover the critical link be, uh, between what they eat and how they feel. She is a former school psychologist, a trainer, counselor, uh, with 30 years of experience. And uh, Dr. Susan also holds a Master in, uh, of Education Psychology from McGill University. And uh, she's a lean health educator coach. Uh, Dr. Suzanne became interested in nutrition and its impact on performance and achievement while working with elementary school children and young athletes. Working with children and adolescents and adults to achieve nutritional excellence and healthy lifestyle has been her focus for the last past 10 years. As a consultant, she has provided stress management training program for manager of Fortune 500 companies with an emphasis on exercise and nutrition. As co-owner of a hockey league franchise, Dr. Suzanne also mentored elite young athletes to achieve their goal through a balanced skill development, nutritional awareness, and mental focus. Well, Dr. Suzanne is passionate about helping others achieve their goal and realize their purpose of life. The key element are, is understanding the role that nutrition plays in the journey towards the optimal achievement. But there is much, much more to say about Dr. Suzanne. It's about limitless. Her interest is like uh, to the moon. So, Dr. Suzanne, I would like to welcome you very warmly. I'm very happy to have you with us and sharing your uh, wisdom and our, your approach. That's a pleasure to be with us today. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's great to be here across, across the planet and uh, joining my dear, dear friend, Dr. Day. Dr. Francois, I miss you so much here in Montreal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, we'll start this interview, Dr. Suzanne, with uh, uh, your journey because your, your profile shows that you navigated through so many sectors. You started from education to psychology to business coaching to athletic coaching to wellness to vert vertical gardening, to healthy nutritional juice, and now mainly to nutrition. Well, Dr. Ju Susan, wh what a journey you have. So please <laughs> tell me a little bit about your main poles of your professional career. Well, um, uh, I started out um, my career in Michigan. I'm from the States, uh, but I've been, I, happy citizen of Canada for over 50 years. So um, my journey started really uh, at Vanier College. I was teaching there as a head of the department of the special care counseling department. And more and more um, becoming aware of how performance um, lifestyle was impacting some of the students' ability to reach their potential at the college level. And of course, at the same time, I'm working in the schools and um, a, a principal would say, you need to um, assess little Stevie. And there's Stevie and Stevie hasn't had any breakfast and he's had not had any lunch. And um, coming to find out he's having trouble in school, not because little Stevie is a problem, he hasn't been during. Sure. So nutrition just is nagging there in the background of all of the endeavors I was involved with, from children to students to athletes. And um, even sport nutrition didn't become a, a business until about 20 years ago. So um, it's when I, I was aware of myself, at one point in my life, I was only like, I knew I had to drink coffee to stay up up all night to get a paper done at university. And then and that was like the first awareness. Um, and then yourself. I grew up on a farm. You developed this awareness by yourself, isn't it? Right, right. And then I thought, well, I'm not eating like I did as a kid. So I went back to eating as I did when I grew up on the farm in Michigan and whole natural foods. And as I worked with families and 
their challenges with their children. Let's take a look at what the family has consumed nutritionally. And it's something that's been packaged, something that has been picked Frost. up at the, Frost. at the fast food. So we're looking at lots of chemicals coming into a body that the body was not designed to have. Mm. We're designed to have good whole nutrition. So um, the last years of my life are dedicated to mission nutrition. Oh, yeah. But there is a very special aspect of nutrition that uh, not much of nutritionists have, which is the energy aspect of it. And uh, I'm myself an energy healing uh, therapist. And I think that this is an amazing approach that you have. Can you speak to us about that? How come can you match energy, universal energy, chi, prana, uh, to nutrition? Because there is no, no other nutritionist that is using this approach, no? Well, I think there are maybe a few, but I, I would say those seeds were planted. And pardon the pun, uh, when I grew up on the farm, and you're out there in the garden uh, with the fresh spinach and the fresh vegetables and the sun is coming in and you can just feel it from the earth on your bare toes, right through the top of your head, the sun, the sun coming in. And that connection is so powerful. And I moved away from that as, as you become urbanized and, and, separated from that fresh component of food. And it wasn't until I began to do more research to say, we've got to get back to whole food nutrition. We need to get back to this. And, and um, you begin to see the connection that universal energy comes into that fresh food. And as early as you can consume that, the quicker that energy is coming in. And there's a part of acknowledging that. Um, my so research took me in. We are also absorbing energy through the food, right? Universal energy, prana, chi, whatever it is. Right. We also absorb it through the food. Right. And you take something like a processed cereal, like a Rice Krispie or something, uh, the energy has been totally empty it out of it. It's gone. It's gone. That, that, that sunlight, that energy from the university has been manufactured out of it. So that it's very hard for the human body to connect with that. It's, it's flat. It's, it's not healing you. Um, our body is, a, is the house of the soul. And that soul needs to be nourished from that that whole food energy that comes in through that apple, through that orange, banana, the pineapple, the, the beautiful fruits that you have in Sri Lanka that we don't have here in Canada. So 